Theater. This is Mutilesh Palagar. And right now, I'm standing in the center of the fashion industry at Great Portland Street in West End, London. But I've got a reason to be here. I'm going to introduce you guys to a very really special character named Mr. Kuriakos Mustuka, who's been an icon in the fashion industry for years together. So let me give you guys a brief introduction about Mr. Kuriakos Mustuka. He moved along with his family when he was barely four years old, all the way from Cyprus to London. After quite a few years, he completed his degree in physics and wasn't sure about what he should be pursuing in the professional career after down this university. So he later went on to join his family business in the clothing industry, which was a phenomenal success. And he went on to become a multi-millionaire in no time. And he lived in a large house in Totteridge with his wife and two children. As time passed by, he lost all his fortune and wealth. And he now is writing a book about his life story and is very happy to share his experiences with us. And now you guys will really be bothered that as age really got to do something where it matters to success. And this is why we guys are gonna check it out from the man himself. And now follow me. Hello, Mr. Kuriakos Mustuka. How are you doing? Nicholas. Fine, thanks. Uh, call me Kate for my friends too. Oh, okay, then fine. Can you please have a seat now? During your engage, but were you actually thinking about something that which you couldn't actually achieve because that you're too young and that you haven't got experience? Uh, the thought never really um, occurred to me. I was about 25, 26 at the time, and I didn't think I was too young. Okay. If you're young, more strength to you. I mean, uh, you've heard the expression millionaire by 30. Uh -huh. um, if you're old, it's just an attitude of mind. I mean, one of the biggest companies in the United States, a multi, multi million pound business, was started um, by a, a, a bunch of 50 year olds, 55 year olds, and now it's an international label. So, really, I don't think age matters at all. Of course, I thought I was in uh, youthful optimism, I guess, uh, but eventually we were affected. And uh, because we're diversified into property, the uh, company wasn't financially as strong as it should have been. And the company went down. A partner that I shouldn't have trusted, who's, who's run off with the money. Um, but uh, I'm quite well known in the fashion business, fortunately, and I have a, a backer. And I hope in the new year to start a new company. Oh, all the best, sir. All the best for Thank that. Thank you very much. I'm going to need it. How about your advice for the younger generation who's actually trying to become a businessman? Any specific advices for them? It's a, a very old um, uh, businessman friend of mine, a family friend in fact, he said, uh, Gig, you have all the talent that you need, but be patient, be patient. But being young and uh, overconfident, I took off like a rocket and uh -huh. came down like a rocket. So had I listened to him and been a bit more patient, then provided your formula is correct, everything will fall into place eventually. But you do need patience okay. and you need a good plan. Thanks for the interview, so it was pleasure. a pleasure. I hope it's been helpful. Okay, thanks again.